Okay, thank you. Sorry. <laughs> okay, when we're doing baby lights on the hairline, a lot of times traditionally we've seen going parallel to the hairline, right? Yeah. But with this technique, we actually want to go still diagonal back where we're taking out this little triangle right here, okay? Because this is gonna create a lot more softness and we're gonna be less likely to have a stripey look when their hair is pulled back, okay? Because we have to, if we go totally parallel to the hairline, the outgrowth is gonna be a little bit stronger there. Would we all agree? Yeah. Okay. So, when I'm working on the hairline, what might I want to think about when I start my stitch? Make sure the first one is towards the face. Yes, thank you for that. So first one, always want to pick that one up that's right on the hairline. Every single time I take a foil, please. Thank you. starting working with my alternating colors of my blonde idle high lift and my my blonde dimensions lightener maybe still using my 10 volume but maybe getting into a 20 volume now depending on how fast I did the back sections now how far apart do we think I should go with this one a little bit closer a little, a little closer yeah. right so maybe like a half an inch apart Still staying diagonal back. Okay. And, and notice how I picked up, and I saw that you did this when you came up, is picking up the section so you have some tension to be able to get a clean stitch. Because if I don't grab it, it's a little bit harder to get that clean stitch. working our way up that section and always grabbing that first stitch right on the hairline. And then we will move on to the top so I can show you guys how we would attack that part. Attack. I think I meant to say tackle. <laughs> We're not attacking it. <laughs> and I always like to fold my foils like clean with my, my section. Right? That way it's not coming off over here and it's not, they're a lot easier to move around if we are going to do a color in between. Okay, so when we are working in the top mohawk section, so it's obviously we repeat same thing on this side. So drop that down. We still want to do diagonal lines, right? So this particular guest parts that are in the middle, so I can start on either side, it doesn't matter. But if they, let's say she did part off to the right side, I'm gonna start on the side where the part is. Because if I'm starting right where the part is, what am I gonna, what's that gonna help me to achieve? In the front, what's everybody, what's everybody like right nowadays that's I have in my hair? The face framing, the muddy piece. Well, yeah. Blonder, it's going to be blonder on that side. So if I say she parts on the right, I'm going to start on the right. Or think of it as starting on the more shallow side. Right? Okay, if it's down the middle, mm -hmm. what would you do? Just simply just choose a side. That's a fair question. Yes. Or, what else could you do? What do we think? Maybe do both sides. Right. Yeah. Do a couple foils and then just go back to the, the, back to the continuing. Angle. Right. Correct. Because some people have a really harsh um, widow's peak. Right. Right. So just angle the, the two sides and then go back. And then straight. go back to the side where, the, yeah, right, whichever okay. side you choose. Because right, it's okay. basically, it it's going to look blended either way. Right. Right. And okay. it's not going to, it's going to look the same either way. 
So if they switch their part, would you want to do both sides too? So they can <coughs> sure, you could. Mm -hmm. So see how I, I took out that triangle, right. but I'm still, I'm not coming right on that hairline. Right. I'm skimming off the surface of my triangle. Now I'm probably using my blonde dimensions with 20, maybe 30 volume developer, and then I would use that just all the way through and stop using my high lift blonde idol. Okay. And now we're on the top, so maybe we're gonna go down to like a quarter inch apart, right? So keeping them a little closer together, but we're still not wanting to do back to back. Anytime we have a back to back, it's going to be a harsher grow out right there. Okay. What do you guys think is going to happen when I get to right about here? What am I going to need to do? More than one foil. More than one foil. Absolutely. Thank you. So, anytime we have a section that's wider than a peace sign, we need another foil. So then we would just split it in half, do this side, like that, and then continue and do a second foil over there. And just do that all throughout the middle, wherever we think it's too wide for just one foil. And then as you're working, I'm sitting off to the side just for demonstrative purposes so you guys can all see, but you know, keep your body positioning where it's comfortable for you and the client. But I like to stand right in front. Typically, I would be standing like right here, right in front of my foil. So we would do our second foil here on this side. Continue working back. Now, what might I want to do once I'm getting towards the back of this top section? with my body, down the other side, thank you. So then, so you're not overexerting yourself and reaching forward or making your client like really tilt their head down, <laughs> you can simply just stand in the back and work from the back to the middle. Sound good? Yes. Mm -hmm. Awesome, okay. Do you guys wanna, does anybody else wanna come up and try baby lights? No? Okay. <laughs> now, one more thing that's really cool that we do with this technique is, and let me actually grab some gloves. Thank you so much. So, I love doing this on, this could be done on a virgin head of hair, it could be done on, um, you know, someone who already has an all over color, but we just want to give them a little bit of dimension, or it could be somebody like me. Like I think I'm actually gonna get some baby lights next time because I'm really liking my balayage, ombre situation, but I wanna break up the top a little bit. Like I kinda wanna see some, some dimension in through here, <clears throat> but I want it to be really blended so I still have the low maintenance effect. So this would be really good for that, someone like me. But however, say this was a virgin head of hair, the first time application, the way that we're gonna make it look the most natural is to add a little more lightness to the ends too, right? Because over time, our ends are older, they've seen more sun, they, have, they should be a little lighter down here. And if this is all really solid, one color, it's still not gonna look, it's gonna look too highlighted. So we can finish our whole entire Baby Lights application and then balayage in between the baby lights. So I'll show you guys on this back section because I already did a few throughout this. So this is a little bit more organic of a balayage. I'm gonna show you guys the classic balayage next, which is little triangles, and we actually go in a little bit more of a structured sectioning. But for this, <clears throat> we simply wanna just get some lightener on there and get those ends lighter. And we're not overthinking it. So depending on the density of the client's hair, we want to take like probably three to four foils worth of hair, okay? And you could choose, you know, we didn't highlight down here, so I don't think I would balayage down here. If you wanted to, you could. 
<clears throat> now I'm going to take my, this could be freehand lightener, or this could be flash lift lightener, because maybe she is pretty dark down here, and I do need the speed of the flash lift, right? Because freehand might lift a little too slowly, because we already have all of these processing now, mm -hmm. and we need to rinse it all at the same time. So we got to always be thinking about our timing. So I'm going to actually switch my body positioning here so you guys can see better because when we balayage we want to stand off to the side of the section. We don't want to stand directly in front of our section because our body is going to be blocking our range of motion with our arm. Okay, So if I was in the salon I would stand off to the side like this and then we hold it with a pretty good amount of tension at a 45 degree angle below the 90 of elevation. And we notice how I'm pinching with my thumb to keep the section flat. I'm not pinching it like this on the side. Pinching flat on the top. And then we start, so this is still just conditioner, but I, I will demo with our freehand later on. Start in the middle. So see how my brush is flat, like this, perpendicular to the section, I'm sorry, yeah, that would be perpendicular. So, why might I not want to paint it like this? Because it gets the stripes. Stripey, or mm -hmm. what does that look like it's doing? Pushing it off. Taking it off. Taking it off, or it just, it well, it's, it's almost like pushing it in too <coughs> far, right? Mm -hmm. Because we want, the whole purpose of balayage is actually to paint on the surface not fully saturating all the way underneath. So if you keep it flat on the surface, you can, can I have you hold that too, please? Thank you. <laughs> You're my helper. So get more products. <laughs> so you saturate it fully so that you can't see the strands of hair throughout, through the product. Then, just come up and feather it. So either you could make a W, we could make a V shape, but just make it really soft up here and then we can even use our pinky to further soften that. But I'm not really worrying about going up to the scalp. I'm pretty much stopping right around where the foils stop, mm -hmm. okay? Then once you get down where you can't hold any more hair in your hands, that's when you can put it in your palm and saturate on the bottom third. Okay, and then you could even take a piece of cotton and so that this doesn't touch the hair below it, press the cotton on there and let it drop like that. Is that cool? Mm -hmm. You like that? Thank mm -hmm. you so much. So, you could choose to do the whole entire head all around where you foiled with this, taking, and it, it goes really fast. I'm talking to you guys, so I'm, I'm obviously working a little slower, but it um, it's pretty quickly. Like at the end of my foils, I maybe spend an additional five, 10 minutes getting on the balayage. So you can decide, do you wanna do every piece? Maybe I wanna leave out a little hair in between, like leave out two foils worth, then do the next three, four foils worth, do I want to maybe only balayage around the face? So I'm not even going to do the back, mm -hmm. and I want to just brighten up the ends in the front only, or just the top. So it's totally up to you, but I really love when you add this extra step in there because it makes it look really, really natural, really pretty. Cool.